those that don't know me, my name is Connie. And if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you have any finished projects that you would like to submit to me so I can show them on one of my videos, all you have to do is contact me. My email box is in the description box below. Or you could contact me in my Facebook group and do it that way. Also, if you have a YouTube channel and would like a shout out on my channel, just do the same thing. And you can even leave it in the comments on the video too. And I'll give your channel a shout out. And today I'm going to give a shout out to Cynthia's Crochet and More May channel. She shows a lot of the projects that she's working on and her finished projects. She has a really good channel. I think y'all would enjoy it. So I'm going to put a link in the description box. So go check her out. Show her some love. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button for her. I've had a lot of y'all asking about how Frank is doing. Frank is doing good. Um, he feels a lot better since his surgery. It, he's not really hurting anymore, and he does find that there's improvement in the leg that they operated on. And his leg has gotten a lot smaller, because now one leg is smaller than the other leg. The other one's wider. But he wants to tell everybody hi. 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 There he is. Well, I have finished that shawl that I was testing for Crystal. And this is the finished product. I'm going to show you how the edges are. Because it curls up. It's like a wing effect to it. But isn't this gorgeous? I love this pattern. Oops, let me straighten that better for y'all. Oops, it keeps wanting to curl. But I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the link for her pattern again. She did a video tutorial. And she also has the link, the written pattern on Ravelry. I think she's charging $2 for the written pattern. But it's a beautiful pattern. So go check it out. Go check her channel out. Show her some love too. I also have three more rows done on my temperature blanket. Um, the average temperature for the past week. Well, I started it from Friday to Thursday. Since the first day of the year was a Friday. So, um, it averaged to 29 point something. But, I did it in... Let's see. Sky blue. And I love how I have a light color on it now. It gives it some more definition. Where it doesn't just look all the same colors. Oops. But that's how it's looking. And guess what? I finally started I finally started on the ocean sea turtle blanket. I haven't gotten very far. I think I'm on row six. But this is it. And it has that little curvature. Which I think this is the first time I've done the um, double crochet two together. I've done it, I've done a single crochet and a half double where you do two together, but I hadn't done the double crochet together before. So I had to learn how to do that because I, I thought I knew how, and I'm like, I don't think I've done this. And I pulled up the tutorial and it's like, yeah, there is an extra step to it. <laughs> so I'm glad I double checked myself on that. In case y'all haven't noticed, I've been working on doing some tutorials. I've posted some knitting and I've posted some crochet. Uh, I plan to do some more crochet tutorials over this over the week. And probably a few more knitting ones too. But expect more tutorials. And if there's any tutorial 
that you would like me to do, just let me know. If I if it's something I know how to do, I'll try to work on doing a tutorial for y'all. And guess what came in to, today? This is the last giveaway that I won that I've been expecting to come in. And I don't have any others that, that I've won, so... It, It'll be a while before, I don't know, maybe my, my, my winning streak finally ran out on me. But, let's see what I got. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. This comes from Antoinette. Her channel name is 2OG's Hooking and Stitching Island Style. So... Go check her channel out and show her some love. So let's get this open. I'm trying to get everything out. <laughs> okay. Okay, and we got a little cord. Everything's giving me trouble opening today. It always seems like when you're trying to hurry up, it takes you longer. Okay, I'm just demolishing the envelope. <laughs> okay, oh, this is pretty. I like the, the design. It has thank you on it. Look how gorgeous. I love that design. And I love glitter too, so. It says, Connie, thank you so much for your support and for watching and commenting. I hope you, okay, I hope you like your happy mail. Hug, smile, and happiness, my Yorny sister. Yorny hugs, Antoinette. Ah, uh, thank you, Antoinette. Okay. And she sent some knitting needles and these are some larger knitting needles so if I ever do some projects with thicker yarn I have some nice needles to work with and they have a little twink uh twink it bag with some stitch markers in it And this one says, love you. And this one has, it's an arrow. And this one is an anchor. These are nice. And this one has a tree on it. I can't think of what you call that tree. Oh, <laughs> this is cute. A little skeleton. Oh, I love these stitch markers. Now I'm getting spoiled to using the, the fancier st stitch markers. Okay. And we have some stickers. And these are Canada stickers. Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually tattoos. So here's some. This is cool. My fingers do not want to work. Okay, here we go.
This is a bookmark. It says, don't quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the depths are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. I love it. I love this. That's a really good quote. And then this one is another bookmark. And it says, I said a prayer for you today, and though God must have heard, I felt the answer in my heart, although he spoke no word. I pray that he'd be near to you at the start of each day, at the start of each new day, to grant you health and blessings and friends to share your way. I ask for happiness for you in all things, great and small, but it was for his loving care I prayed the most of all. And I love this too. And it's such pretty colors. That's another good, good Bible verse. And here's some puffy stickers. It's some ladybugs. Aren't they cute? And we have a little notepad with a little tooth with some little glitter bow. It's really cute. And we have some tea. Moroccan style mint. And I love mint tea. And lemon thriller. I like that too. <laughs> Y'all ever tried the uh, lemon ginger tea? That's really good. And spiced apple. And chai black tea. I love chai tea too. I like to use, put it, um, I use almond milk with some stevia, heat it up, add some chai tea. That's good. And here's some turmeric and ginger blend. Ginger peach, and that's good too. I actually have a box of uh, some ginger peach tea. That's another good flavor. Dreamland. I haven't tried that. Uh, cranberry. Feeling soothed. It's this was peppermint, gentle, and ginger and fennel. And I, I'm probably gonna say this wrong. Rooibos red tea. But I love tea. So thank you for the tea, Antoinette. Okay, and let's see what's here. This is a little oh, pouch with some cute little birds. That's so precious. And, oh, I think it's a little tote. This is a, a matching tote. Isn't it cute? Okay. Need my scissors. It's written in either Chinese or Japanese. So I can't make it out what type of yarn this is. But it's a soft and it's gray. And there's three of them. It has something like li li Lily Orange on it. That's the only thing I can make out. But it's real soft. And then this is yarn collection and it's multi red and it's kind of different textures that kind of has a velvety texture mixed with kind of like a ribbon like material it's really cool okay, 
I'm running out of room. <laughs> I think this is some more of the same yarn here. Yeah, I have four more of the red. Now, I'm going to have to start getting ideas what I can do with this. Okay. And I have a pouch with some more knitting needles. These are some small, these are like sock, uh, sock knitting needles. And the little gauge ruler. And some double pointed. And some more of the little sock, ne uh, knitting needles. And these are some aluminum double pointed. Some more sock needles. And these are some uh, big um, needles, uh, cables. I can't think of what you would call them. <laughs> and then this is, oh, it's circular needles. That's what I was looking for. This is some five millimeter US 8. Sh uh, Shoreman brand circular needles and I have one more bag of goodies here's some folding scissors oh one of the round tape measures and you know, I've been wanting one like this that where it would come go back in. And some uh flock butterflies. I think it's a hair a, a hair clip. They're really pretty. And a magnet of Deer Island NB. Some beads. And some buttons. And that is everything. Thank you so much, Antoinette. I really loved everything. today. Well, there's not a whole lot new going on with the cats. Allie has still been super lovable and she doesn't want me to get much crochet done, but um she's been on me a lot and poor Sophie, she wants to come around and Allie Allie won't have none of it. And she's always hissing at Sophie when Sophie does try. Um, Sophie's been watching the, the cats outside as usual. Oh, I did see the, the little kitten again. But I've only seen it one, one time since the initial time. But that's really about it going on with the cats. So I want to thank Antoinette again. I, I really love everything that you sent. And that was so sweet of you to do that giveaway. And if you haven't already done so... Please subscribe to my channel. Please like my video. Please share my video. Help me get to 300 subscribers. I'm at 284 right now. So hopefully soon it'll be 300. So please share my videos. And I hope everyone is having a fabulous yarny day. And bye! <laughs>